Well, uh, good late evening. I don't even know what time it is, but I'm sure it's fairly late. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. But uh, this was a, a very good win for our football team. It was a very um, – we needed to win like this tonight. We've um, – you know, we've, we played four quarters, but I don't think – when we've had a lead like this at halftime, I don't think we've we finished a lot of games with great intention and, and finishing all four quarters. And I thought tonight we, we won the first, the second, the third, and the fourth to the very last handoff and, and that clock running down. And, you know, our, our our halftime speech or talk or whatever you want to call it was about, hey, we, we've got a test in front of us as a football team. We can go out here and be, a, be an average football team and, flounder around and not look very sharp and lose our focus and concentration or we can go out here and, and uh, keep doing what we've done the first two quarters and uh, and handling them both offensively, defensively and special teams and improve as a football team and grow as a football team, mature as a football team and we've done that and uh, like I said, when we've had big leads, I've seen it not go that way. You know, this this team a year ago, we had this team uh, I think it may have been 35 to 7 and a half and uh, we didn't play very well in the second half. But tonight we finished, and I was very proud. Even, I mean, we, we, we emptied everything. We, uh, I hope, hope no, everyone got to play, and, and that's a great feeling. And I'm very proud of our football team. I'm proud of our players. It's, uh, you know, when you're sitting here and you're in conference play, and we just lost a very good Appalachian State team, and we, you know, there's two ways you can go. We were kind of at the crossroads, and, and we had to go forward, and we went forward tonight. Appreciate it, Coach. At this time, we'll take questions from members of the media. As a friendly reminder, if you can keep yourself on mute until asking your question and then mute yourself again, we would appreciate it. Go ahead. Questions for Coach. How you doing, Coach? Uh, great to see you again, especially during a win, as always. Julian, right? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, great. Um, so, like you alluded to last season, I, I believe last season, as you stated, you guys played the Warhawks in, in Atlanta, and then you guys started off hot, and then it kind of started to get away from you guys. And this and this game, you guys seem to play a complete game. And it for and honestly, this is probably the best the best play from the offense all season. What can you talk about in terms of like the progression from the quarterbacks and the offense as a whole coming into this game, especially after what happened against App State last weekend? Well, I'll be honest with you. We uh we leaned on our strength. And uh our strength is is running the football and, and we weren't going to be deterred from it. We were going to, we were going to find a way to hand it our backs. We we're going to hand it and hand it and hand it and take the throws when they gave us the throws. But we've got, uh, I think we've got a pretty good offensive line. We've got good tight ends. We've got good backs and we have good receivers. Don't get me wrong. And our quarterbacks can throw the ball as well. But, uh, you know, and, and maybe it's just me as, as the head football coach, but I thought that was the way we were going to take control of this game. And, and that's the way we did. It was pretty evident from our, our first drive. And, uh, we were, we were going to move the football that way. Which what did uh, Darren do to win the job this week? Well, you know what? Uh, Darren over the last couple of weeks has, has brought, I think, energy. Uh, there's, there's a confidence. He, he instills confidence in others. Uh, I think his run ability does a good, great job for us. You know, and uh, he's definitely improving in his throw game, as you saw some of the throws he made tonight, some of the deeper throws. Uh, and we just felt like, hey, you know, we, we, we created a spark against Charlotte. He led that thing into Auburn, and, you know, we, we thought it was the right move. You got Aubrey involved in the offense tonight, too. Was that a conscious decision going in, trying to get him? No, I mean, we We'll never go in and say, hey, we got to get the ball to this guy. We've got to get the ball to that guy. So it's kind of what the defense dictates. Um, and we, we take the options that are given. And, and Aubrey was some, some very viable options tonight. They just lost track of him. And he did a marvelous job of catching the football and, and uh, getting in the end zone and, and, and getting great yardage. Coach, it seemed like you kind of got control of the game second quarter, early third quarter with the two touchdowns before half and then – after the half getting the one to start the game. Just talk about the complimentary football that your offense and defense played together to kind of grab that game in the middle. Yeah, like I said, it was a, it was a very good contest for us. I mean, all, all phases were, were really just honed in and they did an exceptional job. I mean, uh, so I was very pleased with it. That's, that's, that's football. That's, 
that's a team that's grown and, and when you can come together and play all three phases, complement one another and stopping and, and then gaining momentum and driving and scoring points, that's a really good feeling. And, you know, there was a couple of times, you know, we, we had the safety in the end zone and they call a face mask. We have the interception there and, you know, that's negated for a, a personal foul late hit and, you know, whatever the ticky tack calls, they, they call this thing football, I guess, still, don't they? I don't know if they call this game football anymore. It may have changed the game in, in the uh, rule book next year. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of our football team. Yeah, Coach Marcel, Future Sports Inquirer. Uh, let's Marcel. Talk. Yeah, hey, uh, elaborate on that. Pre, pre-game, you are mentioning you wanted to see some turnovers, get some interceptions. You are able to get two today, even forced three fumbles, recovered one of them. What about defensive effort, creating those turnovers and improving on that mark? Yeah, you know, that that's, that's – that's, you know, good teams create turnovers. And when they create turnovers, it just fuels the offense to put together drives. And, you know, uh, should have had a couple more if it went for the penalties. But, you know, it just they, they fly around. Take got his hand on the ball right there that was negated for a penalty. And then, uh, I mean, the lane, excuse me. And then Jalen Tate makes a, I mean, when he comes off the safety level and delivers that blow to cause that fumble and that turnover, I really didn't even know who it was at the time and because it came so fast. And what a, what a electric hit. I mean, it, it brought just great enthusiasm from me as a, as a coach and, and our players. And, you know, when you can do that stuff, turnovers are, are instant emotion, instant energy. I mean, it's like you get a shot right there. Uh, so it's great to have them. Hey, Coach, uh, just going back to what you said during your opening statement that you've seen, we've seen games this season that team is up or playing well at halftime, but then it kind of gets away from them. During, after going to a locker room, did you kind of remind the team to kind of stay focused and, you know, make sure that they still knew that there was a game to uh, still be played at the at uh, to the second half, or did yeah, the guys already kind of know understand that? I said that in my opening statement that you know we had a test at halftime and the halftime speech or talk. I talked about we had to go past the test. We had to, we had to play the third and the fourth quarter. And we had to finish this thing the right way, and uh, and we did. You're sitting here at two and four now heading into the bye week. And so now that this is going to be the longest time you're going to have to sit with the result, probably feels good that you're going to have the bye week off of a win like this going into the Texas State game. Oh, yeah, certainly it is. And, you know, those, those games at North Carolina and Auburn, I, we're two and two. That's how I'm seeing it. We're two and two. Uh, and we're ready to go. We're going to have a great open date. We're going to practice. We're going to get better. We're going to move forward as a football team. We're going to focus on Texas State and our open date. And, uh, and we're going to be ready to come out and play. Any other questions for Coach? Or we'll get him out of here so we can get ready to get back to Atlanta. Uh, yeah, Coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. I think we can't say that enough. Thank you. But, but uh, does, does this game kind of uh, recharge the energy of the season you came in with and kind of, you, you know, show everybody what you're capable of and you can go in that locker room and say, this is what we are every week. We just got to show it. Well, I mean, wins always charge you, recharge you. And, and a win like this is certainly uh, something that, that we can look back. And like I said, we, we played, I think, a complete game tonight. And that's what we have to do moving forward. We know we can do it now. Uh, so we got we got games ahead of us that we're looking forward to. We got to build off this. We certainly have got to understand that. So it, it's it's a it does feel good.